Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Nookstone renovation, which is another part of a renovation battle arranged by Havana Sims. Only this time we are moving on to Oasis Springs. Our instructions are up on the screen. The mayor of Oasis Springs has been hearing about our renovations for months and would like to put our skills to the test on a starter home. However, he only wants us to furnish the home using contemporary furniture. We were able to add, remove, change the windows, doors, fences, gates, staircases, and roofing. We had to keep the shape of the build. We could furnish the home using the contemporary style filter only, which wasn't just actually furnishing. It was also the decoration and the wall coverings and the floorings too. And we couldn't change the landscape on the lot, nor could we add any foundation. We also couldn't use the uh, any items from the Star Wars pack because Vanna doesn't have it and nor do I. The list of who is participating is up on the screen and will be down in the description below and there will be a link as soon as it's available to the playlist with everybody's video so go check them out so you can see what everybody did with their renovation using that contemporary style filter which was definitely a challenge. Havana will be touring everybody's builds later today at 2 p.m. Eastern, so if you can catch it while it's live, great, but it'll be available to watch as a replay afterwards. And of course, the builds are all on the gallery under the hashtag Nookstone Reno. So to start with, I essentially got rid of pretty much everything that was in the house. The only thing I did keep was the two little pieces of landscaping and the uh, garbage cans because there was nothing, no garbage cans under the contemporary, but I wanted to make it somewhat useful. So I kept those anyways. But the, the house will not have a fridge or a stove because they are not considered to be, or there's no nothing that was contemporary. So this particular version, I will actually have two versions of this house on the gallery. One that essentially met the requirements where we didn't use anything like for the for fridge and the stove and whatnot. But then there's gonna be another version that has a fridge and stove and some skill building items. Essentially those few things, but the house even then is still the same with all the contemporary furniture and lighting and all of that stuff. So you can see here, um, you can see that I've used the filter and there is not very much. There's one type of flooring from get to work that classifies as a uh, type of flooring. So I used a few different colors in the house and um, that is the only fence. <laughs> And that's get together that you can use and you you may have noticed that there weren't very many window choices either or very many door choices but I you know use two different doors one at the front and one at the back and uh, limited wall coverings I used the eco lifestyle to make it because I have eco lifestyle obviously I wanted to make it so that it was going to be more in line with keeping it more eco friendly that was the stuff and that those items there were the only skill building items that were available a bar and a dance floor and i initially wasn't going to use the dance floor but i ended up adding a basement downstairs which you will see and then you can see where the stove is supposed to go because there's a hood <laughs> it's considered contemporary so i put that in place so it's like you you can move in and you just have to get a few more things for yourself and like i said there would be two versions of this house on the gallery one that is a little bit more finished with the that fridge and the stove though the fridge and stove that i use there's actually a room that is considered contemporary kitchen so i looked at what they use for the fridge and stove for that and that was the fridge and stove that i put into this particularly this particular house that i have on the gallery so but they don't fall under the contemporary filter so uh and i reuse some of these pictures because they're not that much many pictures <laughs> available either so the ones on the wall behind the bed are from uh, i think tiny living and the one there is from moschino <laughs> on the wall and there are a few other ones but uh yeah i just preferred these so this does use more packs than I have been using because with the contemporary filter I really couldn't not <laughs> use whatever packs I could just because it was so limited. Uh, I do keep the toilet paper too because that doesn't come up either <laughs> when you're looking for which is quite funny. This the contemporary filter there's not very much in it. You can see because it's there there those are the wall lines <laughs> like that's it. Uh, there was a fireplace, so I put it in place, and then I think that, I can't remember what 
pack that was from. I think it's from Tiny Living because the lights are definitely Tiny Living. And so this doesn't even have a TV because there is a TV that you can use that comes with Tiny Living, but I didn't like the way it worked in this room. So I, like I said, I add a basement later. So it has a TV downstairs and um, in the version on the gallery that's more you know that's more complete that room with the tv and a dance floor gets converted over to like a skill room and those are taken out but there is a tv put on the main floor instead but you won't you'll just see a couple of pictures of it but i don't actually show that part of the build so there was a divider there and i decided to stick with the idea of the divider and put dividers there into the kitchen and then i switched that because i was like oh i wonder if a stove could go there the way it was and it can very much it's fine you can just stick a stove there no problem it's fully functional because i didn't move anything when i added the stove and when i was first doing this i didn't add the basement right away but then i was thinking about it a little later and i came back and i i kept building and uh which will be <laughs> coming up soon it's seamless in here because it's all together but uh, it was actually done on like two nights where I decided to add the basement to give it a little bit more room when I was playtesting the furnished version, like the more fully, like the, with the appliances and stuff. Um, so here you see me adding that. And I also extended the wall in that living room out a little bit just uh, because I want to be able to put a picture on the wall later on, which may only be in the other version. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see it there I may not have added it in this version I kept going back and forth between the two <laughs> so anyways so here's my stairs there are stairs that fit the contemporary and then I had to go back if you use the copy button it gets rid of your filters so or the clone button so then you have to go get it again kind of thing so I try to avoid using <laughs> <laughs> the glow button so I didn't have to keep picking the filter but occasionally I would do it and there's that uh, flooring from uh, get to work which I can't say is a flooring I ever use <laughs> ever I don't think I've ever used it except for maybe I do rocket silos and maybe I put it down there possibly but probably not even there very much so because I added this um, there's two extra bedrooms down here and that little room in the middle will be a bathroom and when I was playing with it, I had a cat. So the house, the secondary version, it has a cat room, that has stuff for cats. Uh, but I gave this one room two single beds because it was sort of the idea was you could get some roommates to come in and live in the house and help you pay your bills. Cause it's not a starter anymore. It's way more expensive than that, but it's not like really outrageously expensive, but it is definitely maybe it ranges. It depends on which version it is. Uh, we'll see that at the end because I have the gallery details and so I gave two beds in this room because the cat is going to be counted as a sim and you will actually only be able to have two roommates in this house because a double bed only counts as one bed and the cat is going to take one of the beds so there is essentially four beds in the house but if you have a sim and a cat then you could have two more roommates just because of the way it is same is true if you have a toddler they would count even if they have their own toddler bad uh it'll count that way the same way so yeah anyways and i purposely i mean obviously i couldn't put computers because there are no computers that are under the contemporary filter but even when the did the other version where there is one computer in the house these don't have computers because you need to leave spaces for roommates or they get unhappy. They need to be able to put their things out and about. Uh, otherwise, they don't like it. So there's this one TV is down here with the bar, <laughs> the dinette things down there. It just fit the space. And then, a, and then uh, the dance floor was the only other skill building item. But like I said, in the alternate version, this that one room, which I'll show the one picture of that one room, is quite different because I put like a juice fizzing machine and some plants for a sim to be able to, you know, make some money. It's an easy money maker, I find. And there's the toilet paper. So here's some before and after shots. More after than before, but they will be labeled appropriately. The, like there was the front and the back before, and now we're looking at it 
afterwards, of course. Um, that's not, that's still outdoors, but I just wanted to give it a covered area because it's hot in Oasis Springs. So I figured you'd want some shelter. I started with, there was like a cover and I just didn't really seem to work. So that's why I did that. So now you're gonna have some top down views of the house and uh, there's the original. And of course there is the new version, which I put some fencing in. In the alternate, the back one is has a gate so that you can't go out. And there is the kitchen as it started, and there is a few shots of the kitchen afterwards. And I mean, it was kind of fun doing it with the contemporary filter. Like it definitely made me use things that I wouldn't usually use together, especially that flooring. And like, I do use some of them, but not all of them, and not, <laughs> not to this extent, I have to say. So, and there's a little bathroom, which the floor plan didn't really change other than I closed off this bedroom it was open and now you can't see here but it actually has a wall and a door which I would have done at the very beginning and there you can see the door so it's more private than it was before essentially it was kind of like a studio in the first place now it's not but then it is also not a starter anymore so there's that room and uh, the other little bathroom which is cute I find the tiny living stuff quite cute and here are the details on the gallery of the renovation that was actually for this challenge. So you can see it's 62,784. It is less expensive than the other one, as you would expect, because the other one has some appliances and electronics or more appliances and electronics than this one. So there is the one where I actually added the fridge and the stove and even a barbecue out in this uh, front area. So I did leave it open. I had toyed with closing it up, but I didn't like the way it looked as much. So I ended up leaving it open. But the backyard area, which is tiny, <laughs> is closed in and has a gate to go through. And there is the shot. You can see the fridge and the stove added to the kitchen. Nothing else is different with that. And the, there was a little desk that has a laptop on it. And this is essentially the living room now where you can see the TV. There's also a gaming console from City Living and you know, the music from, I figured that music, honestly, I would have thought that music would have been okay with contemporary because it came with the Moschino stuff pack, but it wasn't flagged that way. <laughs> but I put it in here and the picture on the wall. And there is sort of the backyard again, where of course my patchy, my favorite that I have, if my Sims are gonna do any gardening. And I have the reduce and recycle lot trait. So there is a, a thing for doing that and some bugs <laughs> for making it more eco-friendly. But I don't have any uh, solar panels or anything like that in the house. If you want that, you'd have to add it yourself. And there's, I'm just showing that one because that room is the room that is different. That was the one that was like a more entertaining type room. And now it's a skill room and you could put whatever skill building things you needed in it. Cause I did find the room upstairs. There's not a lot of room for things. So that was the difference. Anyways, don't forget to go vote. Uh, the voting deadline is Tuesday, September 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern and I will have a link to the voting down below and go check out everybody's videos. As I said, there'll be a link to that as soon as it's available in the description and vote on whichever one is your favorite. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much.